Section sixty two of Poems by Currer, Ellis, and Acton Bell by Charlotte, Emily, and Anne Bronte. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Elizabeth Clatt. One by Emily Bronte. A little while, a little while, the weary task is put away, and I can sing and I can smile, alike while I have holiday. Where wilt thou go, my harassed heart? What thought, what scene invites thee now? What spot, or near or far apart, has rest for thee, my weary brow? There is a spot mid barren hills, where winter howls and driving rain. But if the dreary tempest chills, there is a light that warms again. The house is old, the trees are bare, Moonless above bends twilight's dome. But what on earth is half so dear, So longed for, as the hearth of home? The mute bird sitting on the stone, The dank moss dripping from the wall, The thorn-trees gaunt, the walks o'ergrown. I love them, how I love them all! Still, as I mused, the naked room, The alien firelight died away, And from the midst of cheerless gloom I passed to bright, unclouded day. A little and a lone green lane That opened on a common wide, A distant, dreamy, dim blue chain Of mountains circling every side, A heaven so clear an earth so calm, so sweet, so soft, so hushed an air, And deepening still the dream-like charm, Wild moor-sheep feeding everywhere. That was the scene, I knew it well, I knew the turfy pathways sweep, That winding o'er each billowy swell Marked out the tracks of wandering sheep. Could I have lingered but an hour, it well had paid a week of toil. But truth has banished fancy's power, Restraint and heavy task recoil. Even as I stood with raptured eye, Absorbed in bliss so deep and dear, My hour of rest had fleeted by, And back came labour, bondage, care. End of section 62